चेक कर ओके माय फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कम कवर टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स राधा वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स फॉर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीज दैट इज लेप्रेसी एंड आई वुड लाइक यू ऑल टू बी वेरी विजिलेंट ड्यूरिंग दीज लेक्चर्स बिकॉज वन द डिजीज इज again showing ramping up and coming up in a big way and second is because very important from the examination point of view so both the things we will you see leprosy when when i talk about when my in my days uh, when i was a student we used to go leprosy uh, patients were treated in sanatoriums we were taken to those sanatoriums they were secluded they were out of the city and um, we used to go and see those facilities which were there and those are the days when leprosy was a condition where you had a lot of uh, um, social problems with the leprosy patients but even today even today a patient of leprosy is not really accepted in society um, to a full extent so if if, if a person comes to know that is a case of leprosy it becomes a problem for the person concerned also leprosy just like tuberculosis is a long term treatment and compliance is a, an issue and um, the government says that we have eliminated leprosy please remember the word eliminated as i told you earlier please remember two words elimination and eradication elimination means that you have brought it to a level where it is no longer a public health problem certain scales have been laid down yes and in leprosy india has been declared has that it has eliminated leprosy uh, we have tended to create to uh, become lax after doing that and what has happened is we had people who were working for leprosy we used to call it what you call it a vertical program that means right from the center downwards there were individuals who were working for leprosy detection of leprosy treatment of leprosy leprosy control leprosy surveillance there were people there was a full organization in the, under the national leprosy eradication program for looking after leprosy once we reach the goal of elimination the government has merged these people with a general health setup so now from a vertical what we call we used to call a vertical program this has become a horizontal program that means a, a, now the task of detecting a case of leprosy rests again on the famous aasha worker the um, auxiliary nurse midwife and the health worker at the uh, sub center level or for that matter the overworked uh, primary health center medical officer so all these this these are the problems which of which we are likely to face and that's the reason why we are, as i said leprosy is again going to show its dirty head up and we are going to create uh, we are going to have problems so let's see what we have with leprosy leprosy as you are aware is a chronic infectious disease caused by mycobacterium leprae Myco the group mycobacterium is is a problem all over the world as well as in our country. Mycobacterium tuberculosis causing tuberculosis long term treatment. Mycobacterium leprae um, leprosy caused by mycobacterium leprae also long term treatment also a problem. It mainly affects the skin and peripheral nerves but has a wide range of clinical manifestations. the disease is characterized by a long incubation period generally 5 to 7 years yes this is a very very classical feature of this disease that you have a very long incubation period and uh, we'll talk about this thing about possi bacillary and multi bacillary types depending on the bacillary load actually i really don't need to talk about possi bacillary multi bacillary because you have the you're like experts in microbiology you'll have learned it in detail in microbiology it will be revision for y'all 
and I hope that you'll have learned it well in microbiology because we'll talk a little bit of de in detail about this as we go into the lecture. Now, when we start looking at things from 1994 till 2013, we had more than a lakh new cases um, detected and uh, annually. Every year we used to have a lakh cases coming up and the maximum case load was from India. Even now when, when I show you the slides also, India is the main, con one of the main, was the main contributor for leprosy. So, say, leprosy also known as Hansen's disease caused by microbiome leprae, involves peripheral nerves, also affects the skin, muscles, eyes, bones, testes and internal organs. So, if you do not catch hold of the infection early, it can create a lot of problems. You can land up with a lot of deformities also. We'll talk about those in subsequent uh, slides. Now, the clinical feature is hyperpigmented patches. The hyper classically, you get hyperpigmented patch patches which have partial or total loss of cutaneous sensation. Very, very important. Partial loss or total loss of cutaneous sensation in the affected parts. The presence of thickened nerves, thickened nerves through this patch and thickened nerves all over the body. This will, we will talk about this in great detail a little later. Presence of acid fast bacilli in the skin and nasal smears. We'll tell you, I'll talk about how we take smears also. Rather, most of my lectures will be more practical oriented than uh, just pure theory. Initial portion, of course, I'll have to cover the epidemiology where we will be more into theoretical. Nodules in the skin of face and ears. This is now if you don't uh, uh, treat early, then you'll have nodules in the skin of face and ears. If you still don't treat uh, the person, then you have plantar ulcers, loss of fingers, toes, foot drop. Development of all these sort of deformities shows that there has been a lack of treatment. And not for a period of uh, six months or so or, or a year. It is number of years that the treatment has not taken place. And that is one of the criteria which we see, we look for when we are trying to do a surveillance of leprosy. When you do a surveillance of leprosy, we look for people, how many people we have or people have had deformities. And that shows that you have not looked after the community and detection of cases is very poor. So, the leprosy spectrum as we, as you are well aware is either the possible acidity or the multi and uh, we have in between the indeterminate group and this is de decided by cell mediated immunity and by humoral immunity. So, we will talk about this in, in great detail a little later, but uh, you all have already done this in microbiology in the only revision class. So history as such says that uh, leprosy as the word has been detected, it has been derived from leper, which is a green, Greek word for meaning scaly. Why scaly? Because the skin which is there gets hyperpigmented and scaly. So that's the reason why the word leper came on. A lepr leprosy has been known since ancient times. Even in India, it was known, well known, Kushtarog as it is known. Even today, it is known as Kushtarog in Hindi. And uh, it was considered to be a curse of the gods. <coughs> Early days, everything was curse of gods. If you look at whether when you talk about, talk about Indian medicine or whether you talk about talk medicine uh, which was there otherwise, you should talk is earlier everything was considered to be the curse of God. Any any disease was considered to be a curse of God. Okay. Hansen of Norway, who was from Norway, discovered the microbacterium leprae. That's why we also call, call this the Hansen's disease. Okay. Introduction of sulfone drugs revolutionized the treatment of leprosy and that was in 1943 we got cell phone drugs and we were using cell phone drugs in 19, from 43 onwards it was the beginning of a new era 1971 we had Kirschheimer in USA 
who report, you see, we couldn't grow this leprovacillae lepre anywhere. But 1971, we found, uh, he, Kirschheimer found that armadillos um, developed a disseminated leprosy. And that is when they, did, they injected, experimentally injected armadillos and they found that they, we are able to uh, grow them in armadillos. So, 1980, uh, for, so sulfone therapies were going on. So DDS was there, well, uh, was there since a long, long time and we used to consume a large amount of DDS. Uh, so that was a that was or dapsone as we well know it now is was taken in la, as a monotherapy earlier but then treatment you we found that people we became, became resistant and we didn't have any other this thing which we are, no other medicines were available but 1980 we shifted to what is called the multi drug therapy due to resistant cases so let's consider what are the agent host and environmental factors the agent, as we are aware, mycobacterium leprae, fast acid fast bacilli, both intracellular, extracellular in the host. They characteristically occur in clumps or bundles, all you have learnt in uh, microbiology, called globi. They have an affinity for the Schwann cells and cells of the reticular endothelial system. They remain dormant in various sites and cause relapses. Very difficult to get rid of uh, them, especially when they are in the Schwann cells. Uh, numerous antigens were detected for mycobacterium leprae. That is the whole problem with, with when you start looking for a vaccine. Vaccine, if there is only one antigen, you can make a vaccine. If you have got numerous antigens, the problem for creating a vaccine becomes even more difficult. Leprosy, the vaccine creation, I mean, we have been looking for a vaccine since ages. Nothing has come so far. We have some uh, trial diseases. Tri trial uh, vaccines available. Another thing about vaccines, please let me let, let me put it very bluntly. Today, COVID vaccine can be made in six months, but leprosy vaccine has taken years and years and years. Why so? The reason is very simple. The COVID COVID virus infected the rich and the poor. The countries which were which developed countries as well as developing countries. So, amount of funds which have been put in the de development of that vaccine are huge by the developed world. The developed world has the money to put in. But leprosy is more in the developing world. It is more among poor countries. What are they going to give? The society which we live in thinks in those terms only. That's why not enough money has been put into leprosy development by the developed world. And hence we have not got uh, the vaccine for it as yet. Pinolic uh, glycolipid is a specific leprae antigen and that's what we start working on as far as vaccines is concerned. We have seen these uh, in microbiology, uh, the um, lepra bacilli. The source of infection is generally a multi bacillary case uh, and the source should be in the community. In, and inapparent infection may also occur from the source of it. You see a person, leprosy, as I told you, the uh, patient is, can, be, can get the disease after 5 to 7 years, can, can see a uh, patch after 5 to 7 years. So during that time, any time when you may find, if he's a multipastillary case also, he may, may be infectious and may, you, without a, any apparent infection, may be transmitting the disease. All patients with active leprosy must be considered infectious. That's very important and very, very easy to make an infectious patient non-infectious. We'll talk about it later as we go back. Wild animals involved are armadillos. Mangabe monkeys and chimpanzees. These are the three animals which are in, uh, which do get the infection, which we have, which a lot of research going on on them. This is the nine bad banded armadillo, which was well known, and uh, we also cultured this in the foot pad of mice. You you heard about that also. That's microbiology must they must talk to you in detail about it. Now, the portal of exit was earlier considered to be only skin. 
please remember portal of exit when i was doing my mbbs i was told that it was it has to be close contact contact means skin contact with with the patient and for number of years no longer so now we are aware that nose is the major portal of exit of the of the basal line and nasal mucosa discharges from the <coughs> nasal mucosa uh, when they sneeze or blow nose that is the time when when is the problem so other portals are ulcerated or broken skin of uh, intact skin generally doesn't transmit the bacilli <coughs> yeah <clears throat> okay droplet infections leprosy may be transmitted by aerosol so be uh, that's about the major source of uh, infection contacts with infectious patients uh, skin to skin contact or indirect contact with social <coughs> with soil and fomites may be possible but uh, not very uh, large numbers the epidemiological survey the first lesions were found on the feet and legs of patients so there was this theory that uh, it is transmitted through the soil um not been um, not not a very strong theory that it is transmitted through the soil but you do find that the lesions are there on the feet and legs the other routes of transmission which are known are uh, maybe transmitted through via breast milk so you have to be careful for a lepromatous mother uh, who is breastfeeding we have to make her non infectious by insect vectors or tattooing noodles these are all hypotheses which are there nothing very certain about these things tattooing needles may be possible insect vectors very very doubtful infectivity the leprosy is highly infectious but of low pathogenicity very low pathogenicity infectious patient can be rendered non infectious by just treatment with dapsone for 90 days or rifampicin for 3 weeks so basically you need to give like for example i was mentioning the infectious mother you have to give rifampicin for 3 weeks before she um, starts giving milk to her child they now they have been trying rifampicin nasal drops or sprays for 9 days that's also one of the controversial uh, therapies which has which has started off uh, attack rates among household contacts remember the attack rate varies from 4 to 12% not like covid where we have very heavy uh, attack rates is just 4 to 12% um, uh, expected to show signs of leprosy within 5 years all uh, ages are um, likely to get the disease incidence is generally high between 10 to 20 years and if there is leprosy in a child population it is considered a very high epidemiological importance why so see if a child has got leprosy we are so certain that it is from the family also if a child has got infection we also know that there is an infectious case present in that area for the duration of the of the life of the child so generally if the child is say about one year or two years that means there is an infectious case within one two years so it's not that uh, the person is uh, come and gone or something of that nature also child uh, infections are likely to get transmitted also much easier you once the child gets is taken from one uh, is carried by one one uh, person and then carried by another person the transmission is also higher high prevalence of infection in children indicates that there is active and spreading disease so we we are very very concerned about children this thing. and if there is deformity in children it shows that there is total negligence as far as treatment of cases is concerned because that means that the child has developed the illness the patch has not been looked after and deformity is developed that shows that the family is really not bothered because a patch in a child would definitely be seen by the, by the parents and the, it has been neglected quite grossly <clears throat> both incidence and prevalence of leprosy appear to be high in males rather than females uh, common thing which say which is possibly because males are 
more likely to go out and uh, get the infections. <clears throat> Females generally more staying at home. High incidence in males may be due to greater mobility and increased opportunities for contact in many, many populations. Okay. Migration. In India, mostly it's a rural problem which is there. Uh, uh, urban areas, <clears throat> now people have started moving from rural to urban. I mean, now uh, earlier. Now they are moving from urban to rural. With COVID being present, uh, people are moving from urban to rural. But uh, generally the problem was in the rural areas, now coming into the urban areas because of mobile migration. Only a few persons exposed to infection develop the disease. A large proportion of early lesions that occur in leprosy heal spontaneously. So the body really looks after that. As we said, only 5 to 17 percent of the patients will, uh, will develop the disease. Uh, a certain degree of immunity due to infection with other related mycobacterium cross immunity is also considered one of the reasons why we uh, are uh, possibly getting immune. Cell mediated immunity is responsible for the resistance in infection. And antibodies, especially IgG and IgM, are demonstrated throughout the spectrum of leprosy. They are more pronounced at the lepromatocyte. So, that we have all, we'll talk to you in detail a little later. Uh, the genetic factors, there are, there is an HLA linked to genes with, which can influence the prognosis of uh, leprosy. Environmental factors, the risk of transmission is predominantly controlled by the environmental factors and presence of infectious cases in the environment is most important. Humidity favors survival of microbacterial leprae in the environment. So what can happen is that person is transmitting the disease through his uh, respiratory tract and then because there's a humid patch, uh, the humidity is more, there's likelihood that the, the leprae bacilli may survive. Microbacterium leprae can remain viable in dried nasal secretions for at least nine days. So for nine days it can remain in dried secretions and in moist soil it can, at room temperature it can remain for 46 days, very long periods. So that's the reason why the theory goes that it is transmitted through the soil. You, we have so many of our uh, friends who keep on spitting around all over the country that you find that possibly uh, from there we have transmission of number of diseases and including uh, mycobacterial leprae. Overcrowding and lack of ventilation will transmit a, all respiratory diseases. You can put this overcrowding and lack of ventilation. It will transmit a large number of all the respiratory diseases. Social factors um, with you know, clo close contacts. We are, we are talking about social distancing today. If social distancing was followed earlier, masks were followed earlier, we would have uh, possibly not had a large number of diseases. Is there any con any population which used to use masks earlier? Well, if you really go to see, most of the um, Asian countries, uh, see, uh, Asian countries includes India, but South Asia is when you go to US and all, you 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 are uh, suppose suppose uh, somebody is referring to Asians. He generally means the Chinese, the Vietnamese, the the Mongoloid class, which is there of people. While we are no, known as Indians, Indians or South Asians, Asians being so the Asian class that is the Chinese, Japanese. Um, and uh, Vietnamese, uh, th th that class of individuals, whenever they used to go to crowded places earlier also, when they used to go on vacations or crowded places, they used to wear masks. Very good, a very good habit which they, they had. And it used to stop a large number of infections. If that sort of thing can come in into our country, our country has got lots of reasons for transmission of disease disease and COVID and uh, various other respiratory diseases. One is overcrowding. Second is uh, the unhygienic habits, not, not washing our, our hands frequently. Third is uh, spitting, coughing and spitting, all sorts of unhygienic habits which, which are there. And this has been propagated from time immemorial. We have uh, people uh, 
even uh, film stars going around and propagating thai ke paan banaras wale you have the paan and spit it around spit here and spit there and you have paan leaking from your mouth and coming on to your kurta it's a, it was supposed to be really very very uh, traditional and very good but uh, it has its own problems we must it's time that we that there is a change takes place and we we now recognize that these are factors which require to be controlled the social pathology leprosy is often called a social disease social stigma as i mentioned deformities guilt and unfounded prejudices are there over the centuries highly contagious and in and is considered they they considered to be incurable that's why the people were kept outside the city patients hide their early lesions and thereby delay the treatment leprosy control programs the emphasis is laid on early detection and treatment so what about deformities what about those people those those people are generally ostracized the incubation period we have mentioned 3 to 5 years more in leprematous cases than tuberculoid cases some prefer the term latent period rather than incubation period because uh, really you don't know whether the person is uh, infectious in the early portion of the of the disease knowledge of this incubation period uh, of uh, the relapses and uh, duration of surveillance and treatment so you see what happens is um, many a time because of the long incubation period uh, and a person person possibly has already had his treatment but relapses can occur and because he has taken a treatment or the treatment has been stopped in between the these relapses takes place this stopping of in all cases where there is long term treatment we have lot, lots of loss to follow up and we must remember that leprosy is also no different now the world over what is the what's the problem which we have 8.4 cases per 10000 population 1966 to a peak of 21.1 per 10000 in 1985 so in 1985 we was the peak time and uh, we then came up with mdt etc since then gradual decrease due to improvement in management of cases low number of relapses high cure rates absence of drug resistance this all thing uh, went on till it came down to 0.25 per 10000 in 2017 122 countries were considered endemic in 1985 and uh, now we have 22 countries where it's a global priority global burden of disease 5.2 million in 1985 and you have about uh, uh 192713 cases in 2017 so where is the the maximum burden of disease is in india brazil myanmar madagascar nepal and mozambique these are the six countries which have the maximum burden of disease <clears throat> global registered prevalence of leprosy in uh, 2018 was 1 lakh 89000 or so 2017 we have you see now in uh, uh, 2013 we had 1 lakh 89 2017 we have 2 lakh 10000 so it's increasing 2 lakh 26000 in 2012 so things are now gradually increasing and we are uh, again finding a problem because the you see the accelerator has your foot has been taken off the accelerator and we are now having more cases india and indonesia uh, provide 67.4% of cases 73% of the new leprosy cases are in the southeast asian region and india and indonesia are the ones which provide 67.4% of the cases most countries have achieved elimination that is including india that is less one less than one case per 10000 population pockets are there and uh, they are mentioned on the slide angola bangladesh brazil china democratic republic of congo ethiopia india indonesia madagascar mozambique myanmar nepal nigeria philippines south sudan yeah all these are there so we have these patches all around the world in india what is the problem in india leprosy is widely prevalent in india in 2004 we had a prevalence rate of 2.4 cases per 10000 population and uh, rather in 1981 they say that we had 57 cases per 10000 a huge number huge number 
So there were still uh, six cases um, which have not yet achieved elimination. That is Nagaland, Haryana, Himachal, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram. But these have now come down. This was an old slide. All the, uh, now at the present moment, we have hardly got any state which has not achieved elimination status. 2013-14, we had about 1.27 lakh cases and the annual new case detection rate was 9.98 per lakh population. So about 0 0.99 per 10,000 population. Um, so now um, 0 0.86 lakh cases on 1st April 2014, which gives us a prevalence rate of 0 0.68 per 10,000. This hasn't uh, changed much now at the present moment. The government of India says that we have got about a prevalence rate of 0 0.66 per 10,000. <clears> okay, there are lots of figures around here which you can, uh, for your exams, may come useful. Uh, so we had, if you really look at studies which are there, multi basilary cases were 51.48%. And uh, females were 26.91%, children 9.49%, grade 2 deformities means in very neglected cases 4.14%. And in SCST, uh, there were more cases that is 17 to 18% were there present. So, uh, the rest I think we'll skip these large, large number of figures for you. This is what you should remember. New cases in 2016, 1.35 lakh cases. Annual new case detected rate 10.17 lakh per, per, per 1 lakh. 2017, that is now recent, most recent, is prevalence of 0 0.66 per 10,000. Um, new cases in 73.86% uh, 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 was multi -bacillary. Females 39.9%. Children below five, 15 years, 8.48%. New cases, grade 2 disability, 5.96%. New child cases were 281. New relapse cases were 2,749. And retreatment cases were 1,147. 1, okay, add on a few more statistics. 34 states and urine territories have achieved the elimination that is prevalence of 1 per 10,000. So, the elimination status has been achieved by most of the states. Chhattisgarh is one of the states, laggards which are there. Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Lakshadweep, uh, Dadra, Nagar, Haveli, and Bihar. These are the laggard states which are there. And um, there were 23 districts which had um, 5 per 10,000 and 3 districts which had 9 per 10,000. So, we have a uh, WHO Global Strategy 2016 to 2020. Now, I suppose they should, they should come up with a new program now, which says strengthen government ownership, coordination, and partnership, stop leprosy and its complications, stop discrimination and promote inclusion. And the key targets were zero grade two disability among children with leprosy, reduce grade two leprosy in new leprosy cases with less than one case per million and zero countries with legislation allowing discrimination. So all countries should have, uh, should look at their legislation and discriminate. See, like for example, I'll give you an example. Um, till, I don't, I don't, don't remember when the, when the law was changed, but you could divorce your wife if she had leprosy. It was there in the Indian laws. Divorce, if, if a wife had leprosy, she could, she could be divorced. You could ask uh, for, uh, as far as jobs are concerned, a person could be removed from his job because of leprosy. There are so many places where this discrimination was available in laws. So these required to be removed. They have been removed from the Indian uh, statute. Okay, the other things, accelerating towards leprosy-free world, reduce leprosy burden and sustaining leprosy. Use case detection as a main indicator of monitor, monitor progress. Ensure high quality diagnosis, case management, recording and reporting in all endemic com communities. And strengthen routine and referral services. And discontinue the campaign approach. You know, there was this thing that campaign approach. Okay, we'll leave this. We have... Uh, 
cardinal signs and symptoms of leprosy we will talk about it sometime uh, later today we will end at this particular stage thank you how can we get out of this